All right, so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. Um, so this is how we have our power, or our switch. Everything is wired here. Our micro USB uh, power cable here. Um, I'm gonna fast forward a little bit because all I'm, all it literally is going to be is just soldering these connections onto the Adafruit. Um, since I have it already completed. Um, get this out of the way so I have the uh, micro USB flowed into the USB connection down here for the orange and then the ground um, going to one of the grounds for the yellow and then our switch being going into the enable and uh, the ground so with that um, in place we can make sure I don't have the uh, the bottom uh, taped anymore so we'll lift it up off the board make sure that our switch works um, so right now the Adafruit is off in the off position on our switch so we will flip the switch and we have power just make sure that it works back and forth a couple of times and we are good now the one thing that I have noticed with this switch is that it doesn't make the nice happy click the satisfying game original Game Boy power switch when it goes flip off and flip back on and, you know it's, it's with command that it's on um, so that's one thing that I kind of miss um, and I I would recommend the switch, but then again, I don't because I like the switch. I like it to uh, to have the the feeling on there. So we will go ahead and take our electrical tape and wrap the bottom of it because now we don't have anything else that needs to be soldered on to this board. Um, in this board particularly um, I went through and desoldered the uh, power uh, for the battery and then I just soldered on the wires themselves into the location um, makes it a, a, a little bit thinner a nice little setup um, instead of having the board having a raised portion on there like this guy so if you want it nice and slim, you can't really get too much uh, out of it as far as height because of this guy right here. Um, can't uh, eliminate all of the height from it. But you can at least get some of it nonetheless. So that's the only difference that I had done on this board. Uh, you're welcome to do so. It's really simple. You just cut all four corners and then cut this the uh, two wires here um, that come up and then the plastic piece comes off and you just desolder uh, the rest of it so um, cleanup on it is fairly simple um, and it's not too bad so grab some more electrical tape here to cover the rest of the bottom so nothing shorts out or any of the such. Uh, one other thing is I like to have the light come through as far as the charge and the power and everything else because uh, if you cover it up um, some of the light actually shines through on the Game Boy um, so you can definitely tell if it's on or it's off however you prefer. Um, you, you can desolder these and then move the uh, the LEDs somewhere else so you can line them up to the top if you want uh, but in this build I'm not going to do that 